Hi, this is Chicho. What I wanted to do in this video was show you a couple of tricks uh, that I've learned of um, how to learn your multiplication table. A couple of hand tricks anyway. Now, this the first one uh, is a trick that I've known for a long time and it works for multiplying nine by any single digit number. And the second trick is something that I just learned like a couple of weeks ago uh, from a student uh, that helps you remember how to multiply six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 together, okay? Now, the first trick is pretty simple. It's, it's really easy. It's, it's a trick that I've had in my toolbox for a very long time. Uh, what you end up doing is if you hold up both your hands like this, what you do is starting from your pinky, either this one or this one, I usually, I'm right-handed, so I, I start with my right hand. So what you do is, you take your pinky, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And those are your 10-digit your numbers, right? Your 10 fingers. And if you want to multiply any of these numbers with 9, what you end up doing is going down the row. So let's say we want to multiply 3 times 9, right? So we're going to go 1, 2, 3. You pull down the third finger, right? And three times nine is 27, right? If you're looking at it first person, it comes out as two and a seven, which is 27, right? And this works for all 10 numbers. So let's say we wanna multiply five, five times nine, right? We go one, two, three, four, five. We pull this one back. Five times nine is 40. Five, right it's pretty simple pretty cute and really easy to do and everyone picks it up right away okay now this this trick has been in my toolbox for a long time and whenever uh, someone is having a hard time with multiplication or if I want to do a little light bit of um, you know teaching uh, I just show them this little trick and it lightens things up and go ahead and go more intense stuff now, I was teaching a student a couple of weeks ago, and his younger brother, his younger brother is in grade five, and he's, he's very inquisitive, very, he wants to learn as fast as he can. It's incredible to feed information to, right? Um, same with the brother, they're very inquisitive, uh, inqui inquisitive brothers. And um, what he ended up doing, he kept on coming up to me and asking me to teach him mathematics, teach him mathematics. And I usually don't start with, uh, a grade five because they're a little bit too young for me to teach because I like to teach at a fairly fast pace and um, I like to get into functions, get into um, applied mathematics if we want to call it that as fast as possible. Um, so the only thing I could really teach him was really simple stuff and I basically taught him this multiplication table using your hands to multiply nines, um, any one single digit number with, well ten as well, but uh, any single digit number with nine. And he really liked it. And he right away asked me, is there any other tricks? Is there any other tricks? I said, I, you know, I told him I, I don't know any other tricks, right? And um, I all of a sudden, right away, I sort of said, you know what? Uh, here's your homework. Uh, find me another trick. Find me another multiplication trick that you, uh, you know, you can find. Uh, and next time uh, I see you, teach it to me. And that's exactly what he ended up doing. And he showed me a trick that I've never seen before. And it's pretty complicated. And it took me a couple of times when he was showing it to me to figure it out. I was like, wow, that's really impressive. And that's what I'm gonna teach you right now, okay? Now, you hold out your hands. Again, it's the same thing, you hold out your hands. And what you do is, instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, right? You hold out your hands and you take your uh, thumbs and you call this six, and the next one is seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, right? So this trick helps you multiply six all the way up to 10. And what you do is, let's say you wanna multiply um, six times eight, right? So either hand, you take, you pick the number six, and on the other hand, you go to the number eight, right? So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So I'm gonna take six and connect it up with number eight, right? And if you're looking at it first person perspective, it might make more sense to you, right? So six times eight, and what you do now is, every finger, including the two that are touching, before where you're connecting and up to connecting, you count that as tens, right? So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, right? So 
that's 40 you have right there. The rest of the numbers that are left, and the rest of your fingers that are left, you multiply them together. Two times four is eight. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 48. That's what six times eight is. So let's try, let's try another number or a couple other numbers anyway. Uh, let's take our number. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ten times ten. That's easy. Ten times ten. You touch the two tens together. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, right? Ten times nine. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Easy. Let's go eight times eight. So you take both eights, right? Six, seven, eight. You touch them together. Eight times eight is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60. And there are two numbers left, right? Two digits left. You multiply them together. Two times two is four. So 64, that's what eight times eight is. And believe it or not, and this blew me in, I got, went through all the combinations just to make sure it works. And it does work. Uh, seven times nine. Let's go seven times nine. Six seven so i'm going to take seven from this side six seven eight nine right so seven times nine this is ten if you're looking at first person ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty right so that's sixty three there's three three and one left three times one is three seven times nine is sixty three Let's go another two numbers, right? Let's go seven times eight. That's uh, that's two numbers multiplied together that I found that people have a hard time with remembering. Seven times eight. So we're going to go seven times eight. So you connect them up. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Three times two is six, 56. That's what seven times eight is, right? The weirdest combination for this hand multiplication is six times six. Now you take six and you take six and you connect them up, right? So six, this is 10 and this is 10. So that's 20. And then you have four times four. Four times four is 16. So 20 plus 16, 36. And it works for six times six even. So it's a brilliant little trick and it covers usually the numbers that people have the hardest times um, remembering what the what the numbers are from six to ten or from six to nine anyway okay and those are the only two hand tricks that I know um, of uh, you know tricks that you can use to learn your multiplication table and um, at, at, at a certain point if you do enough of this you will learn your multiplication table and it's a pretty important thing to know it's uh, basically uh, the basis of uh, sort of where you have to start uh, because multiplication is an extension of addition, right? So if you don't know how to multiply, um, you're stuck with addition and subtraction, right? And from there, that's basically us dealing uh, the first basically two, or you can call it four different operations we do with um, the real number set, with numbers that we encounter. Okay. And that's it. Uh, those are the two little hand tricks that I know of how to use multiplication and uh, um, two, uh, two tools in my toolbox now. Okay, and I thought I'd share it with you guys and I uh, thought you might like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. What you do is you start off with your thumbs as being six and you go seven, eight, nine, ten right so if you want to for example multiply seven times eight so you take one hand and you go to seven you go six seven you take the other hand and you go to eight you go six seven eight you touch the seven and the eight together and then the way it works is all the numbers from the touching from your two fingers touching and back including the two fingers that are touching you count those as tens so this becomes 10 20 30 40 50 right the numbers after the two two fingers that you've touched what you end up doing is you multiply these two numbers together and there's two left on this finger and three left on this one so two times three is six so seven times eight is fifty one two three four five so that's ten twenty thirty forty fifty two times three is six fifty six right and this works for all the numbers from six to ten multiplied together so what we're going to do right now is just go through and confirm that that's the case.